Hi, it's Felicia with Grace Babies and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to clean raw angora fiber and also how to dye it. So for this you'll need your angora. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to dye all of it, but I am going to dye some of it. So I'll be going over that with you. You're going to need your, your fiber. You're going to need a bin, a pair of gloves, a strainer, some tongs, uh, Dawn Simply Clean, or um, any gentle shampoo, uh, some vinegar, I use white vinegar, and for hair I just use the RIT. Um, you can use whatever um, that's made for wool, to dye wool, um, but I choose RIT. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I put the hair in the sink. I also set up an area where I put the, the towel down um, because I don't plan to dye all of it as I just said. And so um, let's go ahead and get started with just cleaning it. So what I like to do is just kind of place it in there and this may be too much to clean all at once, I'm thinking. So I may need to take some out for um, for this reason and just wash it in two different batches because that's quite a bit for this bin. So I'm going to go to do that. Um, I'm going to get my boiling water. So while this goes on, I always keep um, some boiling water going. And um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just let it soak in this super hot water. Um, no soap or anything. I'm just soaking it. And this is because it's it came um, pretty dirty from because it's raw. And that's exactly how I ordered it. So we're just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. And then we'll rinse it and start to clean it. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse out the first of the batch. And I've got my, my little red strainer in here. As you can see, it's pretty disgusting. Um, it's just dirty. I wouldn't say disgusting, just dirty. <laughs> it does stink though, I'll tell you that. So I'm just making sure to get all of it, um, as much of the water out as possible. And you'll notice that I'll just keep, um, you know, as the water uh, keeps boiling, I'll, you know, um, and I'm going through this process, you know, I'll keep adding it in and uh, that sort of thing. Um, but I just keep adding the boiling water, uh, or I'm sorry, I'll keep adding the water to the pot and keep boiling it because um, this takes quite a few. If you're doing it this way, some people like to do it um, in the microwave, I don't. Um, so this, I've just added some soap detergent to it. Um, and I like Dawn, so it gets out oils and everything. So. Go to get the water. it and I'm just going to keep doing that throughout this whole process right now I'm letting all the suds get in and you can see it's still pretty murky this is going to take a few rinses 
to really get it clean. And that's okay. It's beautiful hair in the end. You can see how it's really murky. You can see that. It's pretty murky. See that? So. Oh. I am sorry. Hope I can edit that out. So for this first part, um, the first shampoo, because I do a few shampoos, well, a couple, um, I just let this soak again in the soap, and um, you can see it's pretty murky. And um, I'll be back in about another five minutes or so. Okay, we're back. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out or drain it. And please disinfect the areas. Some people just do it in the outside on a burner a turkey um, deep fryer kind of thing. Um, I don't have that ability to do that. So I'm just doing it in the sink. And massive disinfection after it, obviously. We're going to go ahead and put that back in. And um, see at the bottom, like all this, that's just dirt. Goats like to graze and play in the dirt and all that, so they tend to get dirty. So I'm going to put some more soap. Not a whole lot, but some. And I'm going to get the water again. Um, so if you don't want to do this you can buy it already clean washed and, and, and cleaned um, you just pay more I don't mind I really don't mind cleaning it because this will last me quite a long time I don't recommend you dipping your fingers. I mean, this is boiling water. Um, it's very hot. Um, so, you know, don't do as I just did. Instead, pull it out and uh, wet your tongs and, you know, I just really give it a... the beauty of these locks. I mean, just incredibly beautiful. As you can see, it's still dirty. So I'm just going to keep doing this and actually <clears throat> I'm going to get the water. My water gets pretty hot. So, uh, not boiling, but it gets pretty hot. Now, I don't know, honestly, if this felts with cold water. 
so I'm trying not to put it um, in cold water. I've never done it like that. Um, so I'm just going to get it pretty hot. And uh, just keep to rinse it again. I'm just going to keep rinsing it. I keep wanting to push it in the same part of the seam. Now, some I used to have this uh, flat strainer I just put over the sink and then I wouldn't have to worry about rinsing. But I haven't done this in like a year or so. Uh, I don't know where it's at. I usually keep all my stuff pretty organized and I can't find it. So. It, it just fits so nicely over the drain. Okay, so that looks like it's better. And we got a lot of the dirt out. Here we go. It's on on this side. So um, in this event, because the bowl itself is really dirty, it's, I'm just going to take this out in here and rinse out the bowl. So. more soap. I'm really going to get in there. Get this hair nice and clean. So I'm going to do this for a while and I'm going to keep rinsing and um, soaping it up and getting the hair clean. So I'll come back to you as soon as um, I get it to a good state. Okay, I'm back. It's finally, uh, it took about four good solid rinses and washing to get it clean. And now I'm gonna put about a, about a cup of vinegar and this disinfects it and it brightens it and uh, from what I remember, you're not supposed to play too much with the wool when it's wet. Um, so, um, considering all the washing you have to do with it, um, I just kind of push it down with my tongs. This really brightens it, and it, for whatever reason, helps you to helps the. De the de oh, sorry helps the debris surface. And I should call it debris. I should call it vegetable matter. <laughs> vegetable matter. You have to excuse me today. I probably shouldn't be doing a video, but I didn't want to wait anymore for the fibers because this takes a couple days to um, really dry thoroughly. Uh, in big batches like this and so you know I want to use it for one of my dolls and I want to include that um, in the end I want to include some pictures so you can see uh, how beautiful this hair is 
So I'm just kind of going through as it's sitting in the uh, in the uh, vinegar rinse. Eh, just kind of going through and picking out um, like the obvious, you know, vegetable matter, which vegetation matter, uh, you know, like the thorns and the little branches and hay. You can see how beautiful his hair is already. I mean, he's just gorgeous. And so, let that soak for a little bit longer. I'm going to leave it there for a, a few minutes um, just to really get in there. And um, this will be, I'm only going to do half of this dye. Um, I'm only going to dye half of this, and then the other half I will. Um, keep for other colors. I just like to have it already cleaned and stuff. Um, but this actually will make it easier. As you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, that's a lot of vegetation. So um, this will have to be brushed out once it's dried. Really get it, get it out of there. Um, this is a little too hard to get to it now. Um, and it's going to bug me, but there's not a whole lot I can do until it's dry and I can brush that out. So, um, this will prepare for the dyeing as well because when you dye the hair, you want to soak it in super hot water. I, I soak it in boiling water for 10 minutes before I start the dyeing process. So if your hair is already clean and you want to dye it, soak it for 10 minutes then you can start the process from here. So just follow my lead from here on out um, for already clean hair. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. So let me go ahead and rinse it out. And I'm just gonna take it all out because now what I'm going to do is set up the, the dye. So I'm going to take, I want this to be uh, like an auburn color, so I don't really have any auburn. I've got uh, reds, but no auburn. Well, you do have an auburn, I think, but it's like a, I don't know. Not dyed to my liking, I guess I should say. So I'm going to put in mostly brown. And then I've got cherry red on the red and dark brown. So I'm going to see what this looks like first before I stick my hair in there. And just word of caution, um, red is very strong, so I probably put too much red. I really don't want that much red. I want more. I don't want it to look. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't really want it burgundy. I want it auburn. So. Now I'm only going to take half of what I cleaned and I'm going to stick it in there. And the other half, once it's done, I'm just going to put it on my towel and spread it out. So 
so it can dry evenly. This might come out burgundy whether I like it or not. We'll see. I think I put uh, probably should have put orange and brown. I don't know, but that's okay. I will still use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit in there for a while. Now there's a microwave way. To dye your hair and if you microwave it then the hair soaks up all the color and then, then you know it's done something to that effect um, I prefer to do this this way because it's just I don't know I feel like I have more control over it you can take it out and look so this will be So it'll be like a dark auburn. It's not burgundy. Um, it may look burgundy on the screen, but it's like a really dark um, auburn. And I want it to really get in there. So I'm gonna leave it for 10 minutes. So I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back. Let's go ahead and rinse this out. And we'll see what we got. I'm gonna turn this on because I'm gonna use it too. I'm not going to rinse it the first way that way because I don't want anything to felt. I'm terrified of my fibers felting. I've had it happen with mohair. Uh, I haven't had it happen with Angora. So for the first one, I'm just going to rinse out my feet. It always gets me nervous this way. Even though this is still, it uh, <laughs> you nervous. Know um, so for the first rinse, I'm going to do, I'm going to use the uh, boiling water. in the with the dye still so what I'm gonna have to do is really rinse this well um, because what you want to do is you want to rinse it until it runs clear um, the dye because the last thing you need is for dye to be um, coming off the hair onto your sculpt and uh, it it just causes grief um, because then I have to strip all the paint off, take the hair off, and then I have to, it's just a mess. So I highly recommend just doing it right the first time and making sure that um, 
it's rinsed well. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep rinsing it with my faucet on super hot until it runs clear. And then we'll do the vinegar bath at the end. Okay, so um, I'm just holding this under super hot water and I'm just rinsing it and you can see there's still a tinge of red running through the water, but it's not as bad. I'm really pleased with the color. Um, and this hair is just gorgeous. I can't say that enough. It's super high gloss going on there. And so, what you want to do is a vinegar bath because um, what that does is it solidifies the entire dyeing process so that, um, so I just put like a cup in there again. And it just captures that. A lot of people, and I learned this the hard way, is um, when you shampoo your carpet, a lot of people will use vinegar for dog stains or pet stains, I should say. And what that does is it captures the stain and it's harder to get rid of and sometimes it makes it permanent. So don't do that. So uh, vinegar will actually just keep this intact. And so I'm going to keep that in there and you can see the water is turning clear because it's going into the hair so um, it will stay that way and so I'm gonna leave that in there for about 10 minutes and then I'll rinse it again okay so it has captured all the color in the hair and you can see the water runs clear. So it's always a good sign. See that in the strainer? It's nice and clean. So I can do another rinse, but I'm not gonna. Only because it's pretty clear the water as I'm rinsing it out. And so that indicates to me that it is done. I'll post some pictures of the finish finished product once it's dry, but it's gorgeous. Look at that brown. It's got just a tinge of red in it. Mostly it's brown, <laughs> but it's got that little red. Uh, not burgundy. Um, mostly just like it, I don't know how to describe it, um, but it's just gorgeous. So I'm very pleased and I hope that you like this tutorial. And if you have any comments, questions, please do so in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks.